Alton City School System has announced a new transportation plan as they try to deal with a bus driver strike. 19 drivers from First Student, the company being picketed, will be operating the routes as the school year comes to a close. Local 3's Abigail Martin spoke with the superintendent. Abigail. The school has completed their statewide testing, but still have a few days left in the school year. Superintendent Tim Scott says he's grateful for the 19 bus drivers. And they're, they are amazing. Uh, I call it grit. They just don't, you know, they don't quit. They're going to keep going. And, uh, it, but it's because of the love for their community and the love of the children. Dr. Tim Scott, superintendent of Dalton Public Schools, says many, including the 19 first student bus drivers, have put in a lot of hard work to ensure students can get to school. The new transportation plan has drop off and pick up locations for each school. Parents and guardians can choose a location that works best for them based on stops assigned for their child's school. We've not done this before, so tomorrow's the first day, so we'll have to see how it goes, but certainly if it's not working, then we're gonna work, we're gonna take care of it. Dr. Scott says they worked with bus routers to find the best locations. He says they will monitor how things go and will make any necessary adjustments. He asked the students show up a few minutes early and ask for patience if buses run behind. He says additional staff will be at each location. We will have staff at all those drop off and pick off pick up spots over the next few days to make sure there's one of our staff there and then first student drivers will be there on the buses as well. Superintendent Scott says schools are opening earlier and allowing students in the building at 630. Schools will also be open later in the afternoon for pickup. Scott says it's important for students to attend school and he's grateful for the community's cooperation and support. I can't say thank you enough to not only our bus drivers because they've done a good job, there are some that are still driving, but also to our parents, our community, our schools, our staff as they work together to make that happen. For more information about the updated transportation plan, you can visit our website. Reporting live in studio, I'm Abigail Martin, Local 3 News.